Oh, so, ah, <laughs> it's been a uh, another very long, I think two days, I put time lapses together for two days on this video. So, check that out. <laughs> Okay, so we ended up getting, um, whew, I got this entire enclosure enclosed. So we got the four foot by eight foot door there. We got a four by eight foot door up there on the second deck. We got our king palm tree in there, a giant other tree, a couple of basking spots that are just um those are just ceramics and also the river's not running right now but you'll get an idea i got all the rock in here surrounding the river so when you walk in you're actually underneath the canopy which is rad um i still have my barrel lay boxes over there so they have plenty of different areas to dig in they have like this basking area, also a log that you can actually crawl through. I don't know if you can see through that, but then we have the whole river. We have the river rock in the river that runs all the way through, as well as the surrounding um, slate that is just kind of covering the edge, makes it look a little, a little nicer, a little more natural. And then we have this giant tree that runs all the way up. Look at the king palm. The king palm goes all the way up above us, which is amazing. The basking area is all the way up there. So we have the natural skylight and the UV, uh, 300 watt UV. And then the, there's a 
the basking area, obviously, which is wooden up there as well. Um, and that won't get too hot. The crocs like to bask at about 95 degrees. So you figure our crocs are pretty big. So if you can get that log to about 80 or so, 85, their back will be probably 95. So we got another branch that goes all the way across into that corner. And then there's another cool little one that shoots straight up from the lay box area. Boom, all the way up, which is rad. Let's go up to the top level and, and look down on this thing. So this enclosure is uh, obviously 16 feet tall, 16 feet wide. You can see the four panels and then 12 feet deep. And uh, we got Yoshi chilling in her cage. Onyx is actually already in her cage as you can see her tail in there. We'll go up this ladder. I haven't put in stairs yet just because I'm kind of just trying to get these enclosures ready for the animals to go into. But we're on top. This is a 12 foot long by eight foot wide deck that's on top of the water monitor enclosures that's eight feet tall. And this walks straight into the new croc enclosure. So you can walk in to basically the canopy of the king palm and you're looking down at the entire enclosure and the basking area, the main basking area is right here. So they'll still, when they're basking, there shouldn't be too much of a safety issue of them falling because we have the deck underneath, but they'll be basking to where they still have a sight line to the entire enclosure. So it should make them feel high still because they are an arboreal species. We'll see whether they're hanging out over there more or hanging out up here more, but hopefully this will all work out for everybody. <laughs> We've done a ton of work over the last, you know, few weeks, just nonstop. So, um, I'm lucky that I have, uh, Mark and Donald to help me with all this stuff. And, um, a lot of this stuff I really needed help with. Um, a lot of other stuff I could have definitely used help with, but I just, uh, I'm impatient. So <laughs> anybody who knows me knows that I'd rather do stuff by myself than to wait for other people, which is been a blessing actually my entire life. That's how I learned how to do all this stuff was because instead of asking somebody else to do it for me, I always just learned how to do it. Um, but yeah, this thing's coming out awesome. I mean, check out this view. You can literally see the river running through the canopy of the maples, the canopy of the smaller palm, and then you got the king palm right in front of you. It's so rad. I'm super psyched about how this thing turned out and we can add some more branches as well. I kind of want to add one that kind of goes catty corner just because there's some wasted space up there, but it's freaking awesome, dude. I'm so excited. So we're hopefully going to get the bigger crocs uh, later on this week and I want to get the animals in this enclosure um, before the end of the week. So the bigger crocs will be in here before the end of the week. Tomorrow I'm going to let the enclosure run all day now that it's sheeted and enclosed and uh, shoot it for temps everywhere. Make sure all the temps are okay and then we can uh, continue to move forward from there. And what is on that thing? Oh. Oh. Some weird driftwood stuff, but uh, yeah, pretty awesome. I think I'm gonna call it a night. It's like after 10 p.m. I've been going at it since seven this morning. So keep feeding. <laughs>